Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Cesar and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Dora episode 8. Last episode we got quite a peaceful episode. No demons got slayed, no important characters died, so yeah, it was quite a peaceful episode. I'm afraid that it won't stay that way for very long though. So yeah, I'm really excited and curious to see what's gonna happen next. So without further ado, let's hop right into the episode and find out what happens. So let's go. All right, I'm ready. So I'm gonna start the episode in three, two, one. We start off with rain. I almost wanted to start singing the intro. <laughs> It's a weird cloud. Ash rain. Oh shit. Oh, I see. Party is over. <laughs> now, okay, now was the intro. Itakata. I'm so serious. Baby. Light up, baby. My child say yeah. <laughs> I love that. Body is over. Light up, baby, my child say yeah. Saru Monkey Probably not <laughs> It's one of those brides. I think she's supposed to be a sacrifice or something. Oh!
<笑>いやおやつ100決まるそう、ヒッサル。Okay, that was easy. Yeah, he's already ready. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it really sucks them up from above. Oh shit! Can he sense it? <gasps> oh shit! Yeah, like I was thinking, like if that demon somehow had a core somewhere and he could see that. Oh sh! No. Oh shit! Send. Oh god, I hate those. Oh shit! Oh, but he. Yeah. 
all he can see is red, so he doesn't know where to focus on. That was a lucky break. But still. The girl is gone. Oh. Oh. And she was like the only one who was nice to him. Yeah, people can be so cruel sometimes. Especially in those times. Yeah, he doesn't know where to focus on. Oh, those aren't ashes, it's just his skin. How, but how are you gonna do that? <laughs> He's still going at it. Oh. Oh, Dora with that fur. And even he was crying. I think he was thinking about his mother as well. Oh. 
Who is that? Is that Hyakimaru? Oh, it sent beats back. Oh, it was Dororo. <laughs> Ooh, that was really swift. Oh. oh okay, okay. Ooh. Oh man, that sun beat is scary. Oh my god, oh that was so smart! <laughs> With the sulfur which is coming out of the ground. Mmm, then the clouds going, going away. What? No shit. Can he see it? Oh, he got the, oh, he got the eye. Oh, that, oh, that's smart. Now he's relying on um, his hearing. That's really smart. Oh, shit. No, Dororo, don't do anything reckless. He is gonna do something reckless, damn it. He's calling you. Oh shit. Oh, he's uh, well, <laughs> he suddenly is conscious again. Oh shit! No, he got eaten. Oh. <laughs> Did he just cut through that whole body? <laughs> oh damn!
Oh, is that a sis? His nose. <laughs> oh, now he now he can smell all the sulfur and flowers. <laughs> Oh, the sister survived, which is great. Oh, these two are so cute together. They at least got one gold piece. <laughs> oh, why? Why do I get so excited just because he said his name? Oh. All right, so that was the eighth episode of the row, and this was again kind of peaceful episode. Um, I don't know. I just keep comparing everything with episode six now, and episode six was just brutal and you know so intense. So compared to episode six, everything seems really peaceful, even though there was a lot of action in this episode. Um, yeah, it still felt kind of peaceful because everyone survived in the end. Even the sister, who I thought that was eaten up and just died, even she survived the whole thing, which is really impressive. So yeah, in that sense, it ended really peacefully. Hyakumaru also got his nose back. Um, well, like, it's actually kind of weird. I thought like he already had his own face, skin, but apparently his nose was still prosthetic 
So yeah, now he can smell things as well, which he couldn't in the beginning of the episode. And then in the end, he could smell that sulfur in the air, which smells really bad. Yeah, really, really nice first smell. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's a nice, nice, nice change, I think, like, I don't think things will change a lot just by being able to smell things. Even though, when you smell things, you can also taste things more, you know, like food and stuff, because that's always connected. Because, like, usually when you have a cold, you don't taste, like, food really well like you usually do, right? So I think that's also like a small change. I don't know if they're gonna show that in the anime. Maybe they do, you know, maybe he's gonna notice the change in the taste of his food because he can now smell things as well. But other than that, I don't think it will affect his, you know, fighting skills or anything. So yeah. But yeah, still really great that he got his nose back. And yeah, another thing which I found really great in this episode is, you know, they... You know, they showed how Hyakimaru couldn't see the monster because the whole cloud made everything seem red. So Hyakimaru couldn't distinguish the monster itself, the centipede, from the cloud. So he couldn't fight in that state. So I think it was really great that they made him rely on his hearing. But, you know, he got his hearing back a couple of episodes ago. And it's really great that they let him focus on that in order to fight him. So he really relied on the hearing part. And also by shouting, he wanted to wake Doro up or, you know, make him respond, which was really great. I mean, like, Doro himself also comp contributed a lot in this fight. You saw him, like, like fleeing from the standard beat, you know, being the decoy kind of. And yeah, in the end he even jumped on him, like, okay, it, it, it's a bit unrealistic, but still, it was great that we saw Doro in action. I mean, like, Saru also did great with the arrows and stuff, but it was also really smart that he used, like, a lighted fire or, like, um, like a lit up arrow to lit up the sulfur, which was coming from the ground, which, like, really flammable, so yeah, that was really smart thinking. Um, so I really like that. It's not just always just fighting and just sword skills from Hyakimaru, but it's also great to see some strategies in those fights. So that was, that was, I really like that. And then in the end, Hyakimaru even said Dororo. I just, I... <sighs> like every single development, even if it's just the smallest thing, I just get so happy. It's just the name he said. But, you know, <laughs> I, got, I, I got so emotional already. Um, Dororo as well, he was, so, he was just as shocked as I was. So yeah, we see like more and more teamwork between them. Um, before it was just Hyakimaru fighting demons and Dororo following him. And now, you know, they were really fighting together to defeat the demon, which is great. That's also something that I really wanted to see, you know, more like... The, that development because they're already traveling for a long time together so yeah I would have loved to see more you know interaction between them but also within a fight so yeah it was great that we got to see that in this episode so yeah another great episode I'm wondering though does any of you know how many episodes this anime is gonna be is it gonna be 12 episodes or 24 I have no idea um, it's also like nowhere mentioned so I was wondering if any of you knew uh, if not doesn't matter I'm really enjoying this series so I'm gonna continue to watch this series anyway so yeah that was my reaction to this episode I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you curious to see my other reaction videos feel free to check out my channel so thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time bye bye